Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Of course. I wouldn't do anything to one of my business partners. Especially when a reasonable conversation should suffice. Dengar, it's Chiori. <sighs> We've worked together all these years. The least you could do is allow me a face-to-face -face conversation. <laughs> Straightforward as always, I see. You know, there are certain conventions people usually follow if they want to seek someone's company. Sending a messenger, for example. And when has following convention ever gotten me anywhere? Why hire a messenger when I can just explain things in person? Hmm. Have you read the papers today? I don't like to waste my time on baseless lies and speculation. Maybe that's something you should consider as well. You're right. I only subscribe to the Steambird. And most days, I never even read the others. So, these rumors... The Steambird was the one that published them? No, not at all. They were in some second-rate fashion tabloids. Well then, there you go. Those sort of headlines become old news faster than you can read them. Surely a bit of tabloid drama isn't worth cutting off my supply. <sighs> you would think that. But this time is different. Someone paid off the tabloids to publish the same article at once. They even went so far as to leave a copy in front of every house. That's how I first learned of the rumors. Every house? That means someone must have been planning this for a very long time. It seems your rival really pulled out all the stops this time, Shiori. The article was even published alongside a photo of you. What sort of photo? Uh, a photo of you... Beating up someone on the street yesterday. Yesterday? Wait, that means... Ugh, Uchair again. Here, I've got a copy. See for yourselves.
means the true Chioria boutique takes shape. Not a fashion house, but a house of lies. Relying on its close ties to the criminal underworld, the Chioria brand employs illegal competitive tactics to come out on top, giving hope to the evildoers among us that wrongdoing can still prevail, provided you conceal it under the guise of fashion and beauty. <sighs> I don't know what happened, and I don't want to comment on things that I didn't see with my own eyes. Still, that photo shows you to be the clear aggressor. Yeah! He was the one who started it, that little... I appreciate you standing up for me, Paimon, but it can't be helped now. That's right. The court of public opinion has already made up its mind. Still, I've got to give your rival high marks for effort. They even dug up the fact that my father once served time in the fortress of Meripede. But that was so long ago. In the world of fashion, your past is like a piece of clothing stained with mud. Once tainted, it can never be washed clean. They claim that most of your clientele are criminals and that those who buy your clothes are just like you. People who silence all dissent with violence. The absurdity. I don't even know which part to laugh at the most. Well, it's no laughing matter. Maybe your clientele are criminals. Maybe they're not. There's even the possibility that they're just people who happen to commit crimes after buying your clothes. But with the way this article combines fact with rumor... Trying to determine the truth is practically an exercise of futility. It's not something people are just going to forget about in a day or two. Especially when they've found several people to back up their claims. Venger, are you sure you won't reconsider? If we go through with the show together, we can defeat them fair and square. <laughs> if I were younger, I might have said yes. But I'm no longer that brave young man with nothing to lose. I've got the family business to consider now. I'd be perfectly happy to work with you again after this. But my daughter is manning the store during Fashion Week. And I don't want her implicated in all of this. She doesn't deserve to be swarmed by all that negative publicity. I... understand. Let me offer you a piece of advice, Chiori. For old time's sake. Let this fashion week go. There's always next year. You just need to wait for all of this to blow over. You're free to wait things out, Venger. I'll make my own choices. <laughs> Have you ever thought maybe that attitude of yours is what's gotten you into all this trouble? Have you ever thought maybe this attitude of mine is precisely what paved the way for my success? Well, fair enough. Then, I suppose all there's left to say is, best of luck. As for the models, none of them wanted to be implicated in all of this either. Understood. Take care. <sighs> so, um, what should we do now? Without the accessories, I can no longer use my old designs. Ugh. How could they do this? They're making things up! The boutique doesn't have anything to do with violent criminals! Can't people tell this is just a bunch of lies? Public opinion has never been about what's true and what's not. It's about echoing the loudest voice in the room. <sighs> I should have seen it from the beginning. Uter knows me too well. Everything that happened yesterday was just a trap. Well, guess all we can do is just head back for now. Traveler! Paimon! Charlotte, what are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. Did you see those fashion tabloids this morning? You mean that sorry excuse for an article? Oh, just thinking about it makes Paimon's blood boil. You too, huh? 
Whoever wrote that article must have known the Steambird would never print something so defamatory. Unfortunately, not all papers in Fontaine share our same sense of journalistic integrity. Miss Chiori doesn't deserve to suffer all this baseless slander. I was just about to find some people to interview so that I can write an article to refute all those claims. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who misrepresent and distort the facts. That's great! With your help, we might be able to get some people back on our side! It's my pleasure. I've met Miss Chiori several times. I know she's not the kind of person that article makes her out to be. She was the one who made the hat and tie for my camera, Monsieur Verite. Speaking of Miss Chiori, do you know where she went? Alof told me you were all together. Uh, she was just here. Uh, maybe she went over there? Let's go check! If you ask me, I think Chioria Boutique is done for. I mean, what did they expect? Engaging with criminals behind their customers' backs. They kept up a solid front, though. I've even bought from them before. Really? How was it? The owner was plenty fierce, that's for sure. Makes sense if she regularly deals with criminals, I guess. I've got the chills just thinking about it. Did you hear what all those people were saying? Paimon can't believe they bought all that nonsense! Miss Chiori doesn't often appear in public or give a lot of interviews, so the general public hasn't had a chance to really get to know her. It's also true that her way of dealing with things can be a little... extreme sometimes. It's easy to use that to mislead people who don't know anything else about her. Oh, this is all Lutera's fault! Paimon would pick him up and throw him across the room, too, if she could! Wait a second... You don't think Chiori might have gone looking for him, do you? You know, so she can, uh... finish what she started? <laughs> that would only make the situation worse for her. I'm sure Miss Chiori knows that, too. You've got a point. Let's just return to the boutique and see if she's there, then. This is Miss Letitia. She's also here to see Miss Tiori. Oh, you were the one who came to collect the wedding dress yesterday, right? Wait, please don't say you're returning that dress too. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just here to thank her. In fact, if there's anything I can do to help her out, I'd be more than willing. Ah, so you've come across that article as well. Yeah, you probably don't know this, but after I got engaged, I didn't think I'd be able to wear a Chioria dress on my wedding day. Uh, why? My fiancé owns a small business. It doesn't bring in a lot of Mora, but we get by. After he proposed, he took me to Chioria Boutique, and we put down a custom order for a dress. He probably noticed how often I talked about Miss Chiori's clothes, and how pretty they were. Being able to wear one of her dresses to my wedding has always been my dream. And then? And then, something happened to the business. And we ran into major Mora problems. We were able to scrounge up enough to pay off our debts, but... It left us without the funds to pay for the dress. But didn't Chiori say she was able to make the dress from what was left of the original deposit? Yes. When I came to cancel the order, she asked if something happened, and I told her everything. She heard me out, and then told me not to worry. She assured me that the deposit I paid would be enough for the dress, and that... 
and that she'd be able to finish making it in time as well. She promised that I'd be able to wear a Chihoria dress on my wedding day. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I've always known Miss Chiori to be a woman of her word. It is good. It's just... After I went home yesterday, I couldn't help but take out the dress and try it on. My fiancé happened to walk into the room and... And when he saw me, he froze on the spot. Ah, what a shame. He's not supposed to see it until the wedding day. Well, see, that wasn't actually the issue. He's seen a lot of wedding dresses in his time doing business. So as soon as he saw it, he knew for sure that it must have cost far more than what we paid. Huh? So wait, that means... Yeah. Miss Chihori covered all the costs and held nothing back. The fabric, accessories, beading, construction... It was all of the highest quality. Huh. <sighs> Miss Letitia... I'd really like to use your story for a piece I'm writing about the boutique. Would you mind going on the record? Huh? Well, if it would help Miss Chiori out, I wouldn't mind at all. I think it'd go a long way. Your real experience is more powerful than all those lies combined. Hey, Alof! Has Chiori come back here since we left? Huh? I thought you were all together. Well, we were. Um, if she didn't come back here, then do you know of any other places she could have gone? Um... Oh, I remember now. There is this one cliff by the sea. Miss Chiori would always go there whenever she was upset. In that case, why don't we split up? I'll continue interviewing Miss Letitia, and you two can go look for Miss Chiori. All right, sounds good. Let's go. So, in your opinion, what is Miss Chiori like as a person? Let's see. Well, she's certainly not afraid to say what she means, but she always looks out for her customers however she can. Chiori? Uh huh? Uh, how did you know where I. Uh. Ilof told you, didn't she? She did. We were just looking for you at the shop and Leticia was there. She wanted to thank you for the dress. So, you see? You don't have to be sad. We'll figure out how to get through this together. Uh. I'm not upset. I just wanted to get some fresh air. Wanna sit here with me? The view's quite stunning. Don't worry. I'll catch you if you fall. Alright, don't mind if we do! Well... How does it feel? This place is pretty great. Right? It's quiet and open. And far from the relentless critique from fashion commentators and the media. <sighs> it's just you and the beautiful scenery. Yeah. It's important to take yourself out of that kind of stressful environment every once in a while. <laughs> I didn't grow up in a very strict family, 
My parents would joke that I grew up to be so assertive because they spoiled me as a child. I would get together with the other children to climb trees and explore caves. One time, I even climbed over the walls of the Kamisato estate. One of the servants had to physically remove me. Whoa, Paimon would have never imagined that! But even as rambunctious as I was, when it came to needlework, I was as quiet and focused as could be. It was as if I discovered a whole new world within those vibrant, dazzling fabrics. You know the feeling? Uh, sorta. My parents noticed, and they sent me to study under a famous Inazuman tailor. It wasn't long before I had driven away pretty much every master tailor on the archipelago. You could say I really tried their patience. You were that misbehaved? I wasn't misbehaved, exactly. I just... often had strange ideas when it came to fashion. Ones that weren't in line with traditional ways of doing things. On top of that, ugh, I hated the idea of groveling and making outfits for every arrogant big shot expecting me to be at their beck and call. Anyway, a few incidents later, I soon found myself without a master. Worse, not one shop was willing to hire me. Not even to do grunt work. No wonder you left Inazuma. I was angry and frustrated. So, before I left, I swore to all those masters that my brand would one day become renowned all over to that. Well, that's a great dream to strive towards. After that, I came all the way to the Court of Fontaine, a city often referred to as the capital of arts and fashion. I had a lot of fun starting out. Sure, I was living in a small cramped room, but I was finally free to make whatever I wanted. I had a far more naive view of fashion back then. As long as something was pretty, it would become popular, right? A simple concept, surely. Of course, as I spent more and more time in the industry, I learned nothing was ever that simple. Least of all, fashion. Oh, you mean Letitia? Yeah, she did mention that dream. I'll be honest with you. That's the first time I ever heard something like that from one of my customers. Who would have thought? Even as I continue to pursue my dream, my work has also become someone else's. <sighs> All right, that's enough sightseeing for one day. Time to come up with a way out of this mess. Looks like you've got your game face back! Back? It was never gone to begin with. I did say I wasn't upset, didn't I? Paimon thinks we should look for evidence that Uter wrote that article, and that he hired those treasure hoarders to attack Kirara. Charlotte's already working on an article to address all those nasty rumors so we can publish all our findings in the Steambird once we're done. I don't like duking it out in the press. <sighs> but if Charlotte's thrown her hat in the ring, I won't stop her either. I know where Uter's clothing factory is located. It might be a good place to start looking for some evidence. Sounds good! We'll come with! As for Fashion Week, well, there's always next year, right? So there's no need to be too upset. Huh? When did this become an either-or situation? Find incriminating evidence or participate in Fashion Week. <laughs> I'm doing both. Uh, but your accessories! Didn't you say your designs were unusable without them? Well, it's true that I haven't quite figured out what to do about that, but... To tell you the truth, even here in Fontaine, every time I see the sea, I can't help but remember Inazuma and the vow I made in front of those masters. Thinking about all that, I just can't bear to take even one step back. <sighs> the sea. Hmm? What did you just say, Chiori? The sea. Seashells, coral. <laughs> I've got it. Uh, got what? 
Come, let's take a dip, shall we? Stabilize! Chiori, why did you just jump into the sea all of a sudden? Paimon, what do you think is the most beautiful thing in the sea? Uh... Um... A Lumitwal? Or a Pearl, maybe? Oh, Coral's pretty, too. Ah, oh, Paimon gets it now! You want to use things like that as the accessories for your designs! Well, now that you hit the nail on the head, help me grab some, would you? Leave it to us! Right? Paimon picked all the prettiest ones in this area. Chiori, will these do? Hmm. <laughs> Everything looks great. I've also collected a pretty big batch, so we should have enough. Great! So are we gonna head back now and make some new designs? Yes, but don't forget. We've got more than just the designs to worry about when we get back. Okay, we've got the materials for the accessories. Next, we'll need to use what we have on hand to create some new outfits. You mean we have to start from scratch? Will there be enough time? I should be able to make it, if I skip out on sleep. Oh no, skipping out on sleep is not the answer. Wait, how come this conversation is giving Paimon major deja vu? Gone you? Who's that? A friend of ours who does way too much overtime. Well, anyway, sleep is important. You're not gonna convince Paimon otherwise. <laughs> well, I can't argue with you there. One thing's for sure, though. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it work. <laughs> All this grit and determination. It reminds me of the first fashion week I ever participated in. What else can we help with? Uh, let me see. I suppose all there's left to do is... tear up all the outfits currently on display. You got it! Uh, wait, what did you just say? You heard me. Tear them all up. 
When I went to that first fashion week, I had no savings to speak of. Just a few dozen yards of fabric in a dream. I had to make something work, so I tore up all the clothes that I brought with me from Inazuma, and I used the scraps to make my entries for the show. I used the larger pieces for the base fabric, and the smaller pieces for accessories. If it worked back then, why not now? We can also repurpose some of the ready-to-use accessories in the shop as well. But you worked so hard on all these outfits! I know. That's why I refuse to let it all go to waste. I'm not going to let them win. Even if it takes everything I've ever made and more. Um, okay then. Here goes nothing. No need to be nervous. I won't hold it against you. Of course, if anyone dared to tear up one of my dresses in front of me on a normal day, I'd probably toss them into the sewer. Just this once, though. I think I can make an exception. Go ahead and tear them up. Think of it as a good way to vent your emotions. Good job. That should do it. Chiori, are you alright? Sorry for taking so long. I got caught up and... Whoa. What happened to your shop? Who did this? Those monsters. Slandering you in the papers wasn't enough for them, was it? They even sent people to wreck your shop. Give me their names. Since they're all too eager to tear up other people's clothes, I think it's about time the Spina di Rosula returned the favor. Uh, maybe you should calm down a bit first, cause you see, uh... Uh, uh huh? Ugh, what is this, a soap opera? I was the one who asked the Traveler to tear up the outfits. We need all the fabric and accessories we can get. Oh, <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> I guess I got a bit ahead of myself just now. <laughs> Back to what you were doing, everyone. You can all just pretend like I didn't say anything. Navia sure is scary when she's angry. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a false accusation. No one's gonna orchestrate some conspiracy to take down one of my friends and get away with it. You and Chiori are really close! Of course! Everyone knows that Chiori makes the most gorgeous outfits in town. All of the Spina di Rosula's formal wear is custom-tailored here. Now, if only you'd give me the contract for your uniforms as well. <laughs> as if you'd enjoy designing something as boring and formulaic as a uniform. That's why I didn't ask you in the first place, silly. Plus, with how much your intel has helped us out in the past, to the Spina, you're more of an intelligence agency than a fashion boutique. If I had it my way, it would be the other way around. Anyway, we both know why I'm here. Tell me, how can the Spina be of service to you? If it's not too much trouble, can I borrow some skilled hands to help with some simple sewing work? I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to finish these outfits over the next few days. Oh, no problem. I've got a few of those guys all ready to go. I just knew you wouldn't be intimidated into withdrawing from this year's show. 
When are you going to get started? I can help with sewing, too. Actually, there's something else I'd like to ask of you. Ask away. I'm all ears. Oh, and Traveler and Paimon, could you help me pass word to Linny and Lynette? I'll need their help as well. I'm done with my interview! Has Miss Chiori made it back yet? Go! Oh! What happened to the boutique? Who did this? Give me names! I'll make sure every last one lands a full feature on the front page of the Steambird tomorrow! Not this again. What should we do about these clothes everywhere? Need any help? Sort them by the type of fabric first, and then by color. Oh, and don't forget to remove any accessories and put them to the side. That sounds pretty straightforward. I'll help too! A moment later and you'd have missed us. We read the article in the papers. We were just about to go find Miss Chiori. She helped design a number of our costumes in the past and even sponsored one of our performances. The time has come, it seems, for us to return the favor. Oh, perfect! She was the one who sent us! In that case, I assume that there's something we can do to help. Just say the word and we'll take care of it. Okay, so it's like this. Is that all we'll need to do? Should be a piece of cake for the two of us. Paimon's glad to hear it! Well then, guess it's about time we go and find some evidence for all the bad stuff Uterra's been doing, right? Chiori said we shouldn't disturb her over the next couple of days. We can check in with her again once she's done with all the new designs. But the show's in another two days, isn't it? Will she be able to make the deadline? Well, according to her, she wants to first beat Uter fair and square at the show, and then defeat him in the court of public opinion. She said that it'd be like... Uh... A two-pronged approach? 
Courtesy first, confrontation second? Uh, yeah, something like that. Understood. Then we'll have faith in her decision. We'll go make some preparations. See you at the venue in two days. Alright, we're counting on you! Okay, then let's also do as Shiori said, and meet up with her at Uter's factory in two days. We'll gather the evidence then. Oh, Paimon sure hopes she won't have a hard time making all those new outfits for the show. Abyssos. Thank you for completing today's commission. You're here. Chiori! How are the new outfits coming along? Uh, you look kinda tired. Just a few steps left now. I've handed the rest over to Elof. We should be able to make tonight's show. Wow, that's cutting it real close. Are you sure she'll be okay without you? Don't worry. I have no intention of giving ground on either front. With the fashion show scheduled for tonight, Uter has closed his factory. This is our only chance to secure any incriminating evidence. Okay, Paimon totally gets that this is all his fault and he totally deserves it, but... Wouldn't we technically be trespassing on his property if we just barge in like this? His factory is usually open to the public. It may not be open for business right now, but that doesn't mean visitors can't stop by for a tour. We're just curious customers after all, aren't we? Well, when you put it that way... Anyway, Uter's factory is right over there. Let's hurry up and get moving. Uh, why would he open a factory over there? We have different marketing strategies. While I specialize in high-end custom garments, he prefers low prices and large sales volumes. I don't know. Maybe the rent here is cheap. Alright! Ooh, it's really creepy. Paimon would never choose to buy anything from a place like that. You make a good point. Let's all be on our guard.